Oh, yeah. Have bringing that Hobart welder. And I'll make an indoor welder out of it. Add some gas. There we go. And build a stamp for it. A little side trip. You know, I was trying to keep everything in about uh, stuff off the ground a little bit on a on the trolley there now. But I was I was I was gonna keep the whole unit in under four foot, meaning I could use a half a sheet of plywood for a shipping crate. So it's coming in at forty six and a half inches right there. And on the length Well, it's about 42 inches, so I, I've got some I, I, I've got some additions to go on to it there, but uh, yeah, I'll put some out there uh, filler in there, fix them holes right there, and um, but you know this internet. Side trip, so to speak. Just upload something, you know. But and and and, and the progress. And I'll show you something. That's the way the front's going to be right there. I get some paint on it here in a little bit. But I have to put a brake on it. Uh, that's today's product is put a brake handle on it. So, I'll show you how we're going to do it. But inspiration of late uh, model maker, Don Campbell, uh, model maker, you know, just go ahead and Google him. Uh, he builds uh, metal scale models. Uh, quite inspirational. It gets it done. Man, <laughs> Don Campbell puts out some work uh, according to his YouTube videos. Uh, so check him out. Very good. Thumbs up, Don Campbell. But I, I had to put a break on here. Uh, from about right here to here, brake handle, and it'll jack shaft through that wood down there and go on down like that right there with the arm and then connect back under on that and up underneath yonder with a linkage. Uh, so we, and, and it'll have a little thing right here with some teeth on it where that thing fits in it right there. And then you, the driver, and we have to put a, we have to put a foot rest on here and these two uprights. And that's the subject of the blueprint. Uh, and, and you know, it's just a at random design. And that's what this was. Uh, ain't no blueprint on this yet. Yeah, you know, it was just something I was thinking about. And I took a piece of wood and drawed that on there and then cut it out. That's what I ended up with. So, that's what I'm going to do on the other side. But, but but the question is, you know, if you use graph paper to draw this little curly cute thing right there, if you use graph paper, how close am I with this here? Uh, uh, that, that right there was, uh, you know, I just took a pencil and did that right there and then sawed it out. And, and right here is the original one. I sketched it on this piece of wood here. So let's go over and compare this to that uh, graph paper. I think, I think, I think, what? wait a minute. Uh, go ahead and log this in. You, you know, most, most catalogs, <clears throat> most, most uh, books, uh, if you check either front or back, somewhere in there, that there'll be a blank page in that book, you know. So, so in this case right here is kind of stuff that you pencil in that, on that, blank page. I just hope it ain't graphed because you, you won't like it if it is.
Well, that old rusty one right there, that old rusty arm, um, you know, that's what I'm copying after. And I have the option with that flat bar or some half-inch square tube in there. And, um, but I done cut one out of that yardstick right there already, you know, just make a, a full-size model. And, uh, you know, you can get these over at the store for about, uh, sometimes 99 cents. Uh, and it makes a good pattern. So, and, and that's copying this thing right here is what's going to end up like. So, but, but the present, I have to make two wood donuts over to attach to that wood with some glue. And, and, and I'm going to weld this down the under on the bottom of that to uh, attach that. And then this will come through the wood part. And then I'll have another one on another piece of this metal. Short piece like that for a leverage on the other side. So, yeah, them's, uh, well, I have to go, it should say on it, it's a 9 16 so that's real good size. So we, we, we'll get that done. But let's lay out that pattern and see see where we're at on that. We'll just shove this aside for the time being. Well, you, you know, the whole reasoning was, you know, like in a design world, you, you know, you can use that French curve, you know, and if you, if, you, if you take a pencil and you draw with that French curve template, if you, if, if, you, if you draw around that thing, it's supposed to be pleasing to the eye. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I got one. I have one of them things. But you, you, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you go ahead and build it to fit. So, so this right here earlier, I put that up there. And th this line right here going up through yonder, that's the width that I need that filler piece to be. And this little hump out right here was in order to add a design element to it, you know, just not a straight line running up through there. And that way I could take a piece of wood like this and saw it up here like this, come around like that, and down like this right here, and it'd fit right in there. So, <clears throat> but this was a, this was another option I had just now because I have a little longer opening. You know what I mean. <clears throat> so I was thinking I might go with this design. But this is too much. It's a quarter scale machine at best. I mean, it's full size to me. But I think it's full size to the engine also. Leave a comment. But I, I like this. I saw that off of something else, something else. It's an extra piece I wanted to use. But this is what I actually used. So that graph paper that's in question It is this stuff right here. I got a whole bunch of this at auction sale not too long ago. And, and uh, I'll show you something. Uh, you, you know what I mean? Taking in consideration as a layout, you know what I mean? We'll get back to this sometime, but not right now. Uh, uh, there, there's a... Uh, well, we're going to see how this is going to turn out. Well, you, you know what? To make this easy and kind of hands-on, I can take this graph paper over there and hold it behind the actual piece of wood and sketch around it, and we'll have a full-size drawing. Well, let's do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to... Uh, well, well, we'll just see how it works out with the whole pad. You know what I mean? Just hold it back there and go. Well, I can already tell there's going to be a problem. Man, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Every day. <clears throat> but it's pretty close. It's close enough for I'm going to accept it. But regardless... 
This is where graph paper comes into play. It's, it's, it's not going to line up with my actual piece. That's what I'm saying. You, you know what I mean? It don't matter what kind of ruler you get out on it. Uh, and, and I have some ruler. Me and you both ain't going to. Me and you both. Uh, we, we, we're not going to be able. Well, I'm not going to dig them all out of there. You know what I mean? They're just too many. Uh, no, there ain't too many of them, but. I didn't know I had that. <laughs> I'm going to get distracted with a hands full of rulers, is what I'm saying. It's a lesson at hand. <clears throat> but, you know, to verify the accuracy of the experiment, <clears throat> I'm going to I'm gonna call in to play this. That's a stir it. It's got a number on it there if you want to verify it. It's a C, yeah, well, oh, that's a 303 SR. So, so you can verify the accuracy of the instrument, but I'm gonna back it up with this one right here. That's a nice, that's a national rule right there. <clears throat> so this is what this is what we're working with, and, and this right here is the original piece. And, and this right here is a copy of the thing on there. And what I did is I, I holded this up behind that and traced it like this. Actually, I did it like that. Uh, I, I think that's kind of important. Well, uh, probably not. But because the measurement is, and, and I tell you what about this stir it rule. See, see, I'm not going to be able to use this. Because for once, it's not my measurements. If you know what I mean. Yeah, this is right intense. So, that's 150th down there. It's so small, you can't see the thing, even if you could, if if it was, it's <clears throat> it's woodworking. And and this up here is, uh, that's 30 seconds. Well, you, you can actually work with that a little bit. But them 64s, you know what I mean, it's useless. That's the reason they left them off of this right here. You ain't got nothing but the actual facts with, on, that you need onto a ruler. I'm just, I'm saying it's a pretty good ruler. <clears throat> but uh, let's use this stir it. So, well, you know. Okay, we're working with 64s down here. Now, I'm just going to call it to the nearest number because there's some of them that, that you, you know, I could do this right here and you couldn't see them either. In, in slow motion, I'm talking about. Okay, that's that's more than an eighth. I, I can verify that. So, what's well, two tenths? Okay, that's a little more. See, that's not a good measurement. I, I couldn't go by that. Uh, I'd have to go by the uh, 60, 30 second. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm working on 30 seconds. So it's uh, it's 5 30 seconds is the number. Okay, if you come down here, it's only 2. So it's about 3 30 seconds off, which in woodwork, I think I'm going to go with that as being, it's all right. So, well... And, well, I'll probably should get that ruler involved in again. Uh, keep it on that 30-second scale down there. That's important. So, see, that's where this graph paper, what well, kind of helps? It does help. <clears throat> okay, uh, verify this right here on the direct shot right there. Where, where this, the, the important part is, is right here where that, entry level on that arc is comes into the graft and down here where that arc comes into the graft they're exactly on point you know what I mean the little square so I'm, I'm gonna do this right here to highlight it for you okay now now we got to find the center of that to see if the center of this arc and kind of looking also too is you know what when you come across through there you can see wh where it crossed again right there straight on so over here it did too man that's pretty good 
Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we got to 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 know. I uh, see we got one, 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 one. Okay, that, that's the center one right there. Uh, I'm gonna draw you a line in there where you can see it. Yeah, it's halfway perfect, exactly in the center of that thing. So, and if you come out one, two, three and a half, it crosses the X part. And if you come out one, two, three and a half, oh, I'm gonna put a line there because that's y'all need to know that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna turn that in for grade. So. I'm okay with that graph paper. I mean, it's off a little bit down here, but it's it's within, a t uh, you know, plus or minus. So, yeah, it's all right. I, I don't like to write a note on it or nothing. Hey, y'all come on back next week, and we'll put something else in that blank page on your book there. Well, oh. Uh, uh, up to now, we 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 we've not pro we we've not. Well, we verified it on paper, mathematically by going counting them squares and everything. So, but in order to use this right here in a, in a real, real life world, I mean, I could have trimmed that off beforehand, but you, you know, I need a pattern. So. See, I, I, the, the problem is, is is I really have to cut really close to the line down here. I'm going to show you something. I, I'm going to fudge on it a little bit, too, in order to save the piece. I, I mean, if you're good, you can work with with a pattern like this right here. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll see about it. But well, I stayed on the line pretty good uh, up to now. Okay, I got off the line a bit right there. I, if you was getting a close-up on that, I, I was off the line a little bit right there. So I'm going to back up, and now I'm back on the line. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and trim this off because that was too much salvage. There was too much weight right there on, on the end out there for me to trim that correctly. So... See, I'm looking right down the side of it on the back side right there. Y'all can't see that. Yeah, and I'm trying to get as long as amount of it as I can on, on a straight line so that... Well, it worked out pretty good. I mean, that's all the waste I had right there out of the, out of the whole project so far. That's pretty good. Don't, don't be a waste of none. You don't have to. Okay. So so now, what we got to do is this this that my, that's the wood pattern we was going by. So if you take this here blueprint and you put down there and you push it up yonder far enough. Well, see how's that work. Actually, I think this, that, that's not right. Yeah, okay, it is too. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'll tell you what, the reason why I had a little question to myself right there was, well, it's just graph paper. It kind of threw me off there for a minute. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> but the, the 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 point of this whole exercise is to verify that if I copied this twice more, it would be the correct size for the application. Yes. 
some point in time, you're going to watch a video about quantum physics, and you're going to think you know what they're talking about. I'm just saying, leave a comment. Okay. See, if I, if I trace this, you, you know, see, see, see what, 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 what went wrong, uh, where, where the era, it's not an era, it's a, uh, something, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure what you call it, uh, So, okay, that's her pattern. Well, when I put that up there, it's against the inside lip that I attached this part to to compensate for this inch. And yeah, we'll have to know that number. Oh yeah, it's this. It's this one down here. It's an inch and uh, it's more than an inch and uh, it's an inch and a half. Okay, uh, <clears throat> what you have to do is add an inch and a half to this right here in order to get this right here to fit where I'm going to put it. <clears throat> so. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd go ahead and, uh, and, well, <coughs> yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa. Uh, leave a comment. Yeah, wait just a minute. I need to rethink that. Um... Uh, not that, not that another, uh, is needed, but I'll show you something. See, this, this piece of wood... And I draw the original whoop de doo on, and then this part here could be extended to any length, Me meaning that you would only cut out this part right here, uh, not not this not this stuff down in, not this. That's the way it would look. So that's what we ended up with. <clears throat> Uh, so that's cool. Uh, 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 okay, now this is all good and good and 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 matches up to that blueprint, whatever I done did with it. Um, taking in consideration that the piece of wood that I actually made those out of was uh, half inch wider, so this whole piece is only two. And the other other ones is like two and a four, two and a half. So that that would put that graph paper design in in the correct. Uh, oh, let's see what this does. This is the other part of it. So yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna turn that in for gray. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put this little thing on here so we so so we'll all be on the same page, but yeah okay this is was a pencil sketch and this right here was this graph paper so you you know it it actually worked I mean you could do it on this right here and bring it over to that right there and you'd be good to go I'm just saying. <clears throat> 